Two US B-1B bombers flew over South Korea in a show of force following North Korea's second test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile, the US military said. Pacific Air Force's Commander Gen. Terence J. O'Shaughnessy said in a statement Saturday night ET that North Korea remains the most urgent threat to regional stability. Diplomacy remains the lead however, we have a responsibility to our allies and our nation to showcase our unwavering commitment while planning for the worst-case scenario, O'Shaughnessy said. If called upon, we are ready to respond with rapid, lethal, and overwhelming force at a time and place of our choosing. North Korea on Friday launched an ICBM that traveled around 1,000 kilometers, or around 621 miles, before crashing into the Sea of Japan, also known as the East Sea, the U.S. military said. A South Korean military official said the missile's estimated firing range has increased since the first launch, and the Union of Concerned Scientists estimated that based on available information about the missile test's trajectory a missile could easily reach the U.S. West Coast, and a number of major U.S. cities. North Korea has conducted five nuclear tests since 2006, including two last year. It conducted its first ICBM test earlier this month. The B-1 bombers took off from Gom and flew to Japanese airspace, where they were joined by Japanese F-2 fighter jets, the U.S. Pacific Air Forces said. The U.S. bombers then flew over South Korean airspace and were joined by South Korean jets, and the U.S. bombers performed a low-pass over Osan Air Base before returning to Gom, according to the Pacific Air Forces.